And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lulu Tom. That's right, we're going to try Lulu and Tom Kench together. We're going to see how this goes. This is doing something a little different. Um, so we're going to have two support units with Young Witch and Lulu. So it's going to be a little difficult to level up Lulu because those are going to be our only support units. Um, but they both work really well with challengers, whether we're giving the challengers plus one, plus zero on quick attack or buffing up the power or health of the challengers. And so we're going to be combining them with Jaw Hunters, where we could you know, make Jaw Hunters like a 4-4 challenger so it can stay alive. Or Boxtopus, same thing, we can make Boxtopus a 4-4 challenger, it'll stay alive, plus it'll get healed by Lulu. Also, Krusty Codger will be our one drop, that will be another card that can get healed by Lulu. Um, we got some hired guns in here that can grant vulnerable, and so that also works with the support of um, you know giving things vulnerable. Let's see, we got some removal, make it rain, protection with Nopify, protection with twin disciplines, and deny and spirits refuge. Um, and then we got our top end, you know, so we have Tom Kench here. Same kind of thing though, like Tom Kench, it can take a lot of damage. And then we can have Lulu support Tom Kench and grow that health back up. You know, whenever uh, Tom Kench takes a lot of damage with the acquired taste. So that's kind of like what these two are doing together. Got a couple jewel protectors in here, being able to grant an ally in hand plus three, plus three. That could work awesome with either of our champions. Like having Tom Kench start as just a five nine could be really cool. Or Lulu being a lot bigger also works awesome with Zap Sprayfin, making Sprayfin a five five elusive for four. Um, so we have a jewel protector with all of those. Um, and then just a really good combat trick with Stand United. They can also kind of help Tom Kench stay alive if they target Tom Kench. We just flip it with something else. Um, a Riptide Rex, because that card's awesome. So we'll kind of see how this deck does. I don't know, it's a little bit of a hodgepodge of, of cards. Um, but you know, we like trying new things over here. And that's what we're going to do today with this one. So let's go play our five games in ranked with Lulu Tom. Playing against Lee Sin immediately. Lee Sin Zed's a good deck. Um, kind of like all these cards. Probably don't need Stand United for a little bit. I'm definitely keeping Boxtopus plus Lulu. Uh, but maybe we just mulligan the two, the five and six mana card. Look for some other kind of cheaper stuff. Yeah, Twin Disciplines used to be a really good card. But yeah, they have they have been printing um, better, more efficient pump spells and protection and everything like that for sure. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, def yeah. I, I think that Shen's a better partner for Lulu also, but we're we're just doing something different. The problem is I wanted to play Box to push this turn and then Lulu. But to block Mountain Goat, I'd rather have Krusty Codger block Mountain Goat. So I guess we'll just play the Krusty Codger. So I do want to trade with Mountain Goat. Um, I could let them. I could play the the box to post. Let them hit me. Get a gem. Yeah, like now these are good options. I'm still good to Party. So that's quite good. Do I just bounce Zed? Yeah, I guess so. I don't really have another option. Not a good one, at least. So it's going to be difficult for them to play Zed before attacking with the Boxtopus. Not impossible, though. They have some kind of protection. Stun card. I'm going to just say no to that. It means that we don't get to play Lulu, but I think this is a really good card to deny. Um. Alright, attack. We get a free kill, but still Zed. Zed still Zed. 
pledge yourself to the shadows. <laughs> Puppy's a lot smaller than Harvey. I have to reach down so far to try to give her belly rubs. And Whimsy, the champ the champion spell here, Whimsy, only hits followers, does not hit champions. Look, Lou, I need a fix too! Hello. Aww. He's gonna be super happy. If Zed levels up goes to five power. Five health in particular. No, worsey monster. Gotta go with the flow. It's not really that bad for us to play that first, because they're gonna be like they're gonna be casting spells here anyway. They get another unit, we'll get to challenge that. Okay, so we're gonna have you attack first. You support you. You support you. Challenge, challenge. Alternatively, I could just cast Make It Rain right now. First. No, because then they get to play like gems and stuff. So yeah, let's just do it like this. Cast, so I could cast Whimsy on this this Mentor of the Stones, keep them from getting the three gems. I think I just save it. No, no real reason to do Make It Rain. All, all Make It Rain would do would save one health on the box to post. The the whimsy I'm I'm guess I'm gonna be using on like Zed's Living Shadow. Probably gonna have to do that quite a bit. Definitely wish Whimsy would hit champions. The dragon lives. We go as one. Let's me go into three. Going to seven. Is this not going to die at end of turn now? Mm. I was really hoping to hit the tail of the dragon, right? Like I was kind of hoping like both these would hit the, the two tail of the dragons. Dragonling, yuck. Breathe in, breathe out. Why the lady? So I think we're pretty good. I mean, they get they get to like play all these gems and everything. We'll have to see. So I can, so they're at 13. We give this vulnerable. So we can do, all right, so what are we doing? We're doing five, 11, 14. 
We're doing 14 damage, and they're at 13. So yeah, we can go for lethal if, if neither of these are like guiding touch. That's what I'm going to do. It's it's not going to put me. If this doesn't work out, this is not going to put me in the best position. But that's what I'm going to do. All right, so you can challenge or you support you, which supports you, and you attack, and you attack. It's 14. They can't block any of these. If this doesn't work, I'm probably dead. But we're going to go for it. No! They just drew that other guiding touch. Ugh. Rough. They just had a guiding touch draw a guiding touch. Must be nice. Ah, that's unfortunate. Oh, I mean, I guess I could have just played Young Witch also. Oh well. All right, Choo Choo. Have a great night. May all those who journey find what they I see someone's been practicing their adorable spells, just like you showed me, Lulu. <laughs> GG's. That wasn't supposed to happen. Twist of Fate's Wayne. Against our Lulu Tom deck. Uh, love Nopify. And Mega Rain's probably pretty good too. But Love Nopify against their Mega Rain. I'm not going to be playing the Box to Puss on turn two because we're going to be waiting until we have Nopify protection for it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's it is like we went 4-0 with the War Mother's Control deck. Because our loss was right after we ranked up, so that loss so we didn't lose any LP from that. Let's get to it. If I kill you, I don't fortune, stupid. Fortune Croaker is good, so we both have five cards in hand, but they get a 2 1 in a play now. Lulu. I'm gonna pass. See what happens. Alright. And I see you this first in your wee bowl, hag. There's plenty of killing left. I see your life falling away, Pablo. And I see you this first in your wee bowl, hag. Obviously, if they just have two Mega Reigns, obviously we're in a ton of trouble. Good. Not to make it rains. Here I am. Wherever here is. Wherever here is. And I got retreat return for a little bit of protection. I'm always up for a round or two. That's just another mega rain. Something for all. That hurts so much because yeah now. Um. Ever put Jaw Hunters into play? I guess Jaw Hunters cost more mana. Blood and guts, golden glory. Let's use all the colors. I have to challenge here. <laughs> Otherwise, they just get a free kill on Lulu. Twisted Fate, still a good card. Well, if y'all know that one or not, that's a good card.
Alright, so they're up one card. Ooh. Tom Kench could be cool. We can go either way, Devour or Tom Kench. Master your demons. Devour gives me another blocker, so they have removal. I have another blocker. We'll see who feasts tonight. But Tom Kench would be much better for next turn. Next turn having an acquired taste to be able to remove the Swain. Oh, I mean, I think Twisted Fate's the best champion in the game. Yeah, I think Twisted Fate, Trundle, it's right there. Like a fish in water. <laughs> what kind of attacks are we making? Yeah, Lee Sin's up there. I don't know. I don't know if I want... Do I want, like, my 4-1 just challenging Swain? Like, do I want to play Boxtopus, have both my challengers to challenge these two things? They both die, they take four damage. Like, that doesn't sound fantastic. I can challenge with Refuge, but I probably want the Refuge to help protect Tom Kench later. Deal me in. More Twisted Fates? Stop. My cards do good. Who says I don't share? I would not. I would put Twisted Fate number one. And probably. Glad that's a Swain's Ravenous Flock, so that does take a Swain out of their deck. So that's good. They just drew regular Ravenous Flock. Obviously, they would have played that the turn before. We have to deny that. They're looking at playing. They want to. I think they want to attack. I think they have Riptide Rex. I think they want to attack, deal damage, play Riptide Rex. And so we need to keep that from happening the best that we can. It's probably by doing this. And I don't expect their Swain to block my Devour on the way back. So they have that thing to block. Nah. Ravenous block is so efficient. Yuck. Alright, I will admit that Twisted Fate Swain's a better deck than Lulu Tom Kench. I will admit that Twisted Fate is much better. And what we got. Not easy to admit it, but I will admit it. Yeah, they spent three mana to do 12 damage, and so they still get to do all this other stuff. Yeah, that's how it is. Round. I'm sure there's something for my taste. Witness strength. How delectable. So they're going to be playing their Riptide Rex. I wanted to do my Riptide Rex um, after theirs. I think. I'm going down to like... Free life. No, I'm basically dead. But. Who need me? Yes, for my own here. No oh. Well, that's an option also.
Yeah, I don't see too much Citrus Courier in that kind of deck. I'm always up for a round or two. Yum yum. Okay, well, we're not out of it. It wasn't Riptide Rex. It was much less scary. If their two cards are nothing, like, I don't know, two Jagged Butchers. Well, you've already got the pot boiling. Yes, but not for you, Army! Let us reconnoiter. Now we're going to try to reconnoiter. Nothing left when I'm done. Like a fish in water. <laughs> Never mind, spray fin should be at the end of us. May we draw spray fin? Where there's a will, there's a meal. Nope. Not the best jeweled protector. Fear the power, do not see. So that just stuns. Even if I save the Tom Kench, that's going to stun the Tom Kench. So, won't be able to block. Now this just GG's. Do. Crappy mid range decks like ours. Ezreal. So let's see if we can get this. I could see Tom Kench being awesome against Ezreal. Could see that. Let's keep. I'll be sad if we lose this one. I think this this should be a game we can win. We're gonna be a little patient though. I'm not gonna let them just kill my challenger for no reason. Sanctuary Tank, you are welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for that continued support. Our first sub today, thank you. Yeah, can't say that enough. Um, yeah, thanks Thanks so much there, Sanctuary Tank. Here I am. Wherever here is. All right, we'll have our, our Lulu and our Codger, and we'll have Deny to protect Lulu. I'm going to counter the deal one and one and draw a card. That's two Ezreal targets and draw a card. I know that Lulu takes an additional point of damage. So it's going to be fairly easy to kill Lulu, but now the Krusty Codger is a heal to 2 4. So we're going to level up Lulu. No, I don't care if the that 1-1 one, one dies. Let's do it like this. Actually... No, so this goes into just a 4-1. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll just do this. I know I'm not doing anything with like the quick attack, but um, I didn't want to put the quick attack on the Lulu because I feel like they're gonna like use a spell to kill my Lulu. Um, so I want like the damage to go through. So put the quick attack over here, and I'm basically just healing the box to puss. 
with that, even though it's just going to take retake the damage. It makes it where they can't... Um, if I just give the box to post quick attack, it's really easy to kill a one health thing to save their tavern keepers. So they weren't able to do that. Oh, I don't require a menu. Oh. Run. Run, run. So that's pretty cool. Leveled up Lulu, giving the Tom Kench barrier for the acquired there taste. Like, that's pretty meal. cool. We got backup Lulu. We got higher gun vulnerable on a blocker. Of course, we have acquired taste as well. Welcome to the tipsy keep up, keep up. I'm going to play this, where I still have Twin Disciplines and Nopify. Noble five is gonna be good. All right, you will support you. All the rest you can attack. Nopeify. So I know they have an Ezreal in hand. They played an Entreat earlier, so we know they have Ezreal. Just nopifying. I don't really know what else nopify is going to do besides Mystic Shot. That's a good a spray fin. You know, spray fin drew the nopify for us and gave us one mana towards casting it. But so I like having the elusive that can block Ezreal. They're still only 5 out of 10. Appetizers of plenty. We'll go to attacks. They'll probably have some frostbite stuff. I'm sure there's something for my taste. Let's use all the colors. Start the room. Actually, it kind of makes more sense to. Heal that? No, it doesn't. It doesn't really heal. I mean, it heals at one. All right, so they're out of flash freezes. I don't know why they would flash freeze a two four over a three two or a three four. Now they're still taking 10. I guess because Brittle Steals. Hmm. Surprised they didn't go after Lulu with any of those. Pretty surprised they didn't, didn't go after Lulu. So we've only, we've only captured one thing at Kylie Tavern Keeper. I see someone's been practicing their adorable spell, just like you showed me, Lulu. Oh, I 
I don't require a menu. It's a great draw. So they're up to eight. Now they're at nine. So they have three cards. We know one's Ezreal. We don't know anything about the other two. Put on me mask, secure me tail. Stop to die. Gotta go with the flow. Ooh, I like that. We can retreat a spray fin. That's pretty good. Gives them a mystic shot. Oh, they don't have the man to cast it though. Oh, I targeted that the wrong way. I did that the wrong way. No, backwards. Because I was going to eat the spray fin, have the spray fin get summoned, and draw another spell from our deck. So the last card's Ezreal. Should still be plenty fine. I'm gonna be giving this Ezreal vulnerable. If they wanna cast their other one and kill my spray fin, they can do that. It would level up theirs. Am I blocking so they don't so they don't have blockers, so I kill them. Firing. I guess they don't want to kill my spray fin because I get Tom Kench back. GG's. <clears throat> One and two. Okay, bye. No. Was it Fate Swain? I don't think I don't think we can beat this deck. This is I think their deck is too good for ours. We're gonna try. But I'm not expecting anything good here. Twist of Fate Swain is just so efficient. They're so good at killing little one ones and like small small units. That's my deck's built around small units. Puppies back there are like I can't watch. Don't use it as core deck. So I don't want I we we can't trade. Don't know much, do ya? All right, I can't cast two Mega Rings. Let's get to it. Is it possible they have no damage sources? How possible is it that they don't have anything that can kill my stuff? Darn. Would have been great. We would have had we would have had the young witch uh, support the Lulu, the Lulu support the Krusty Codger. Of course, of course. Time to get rich. All right, I'll try taking these out. So we both have five cards, two of ours are in play.
Twist of Fate just gonna kill me. Yay, spray fin's great. It's our best card. We get more spray fins, please. Keep up, keep up. Get a notify. Yes. Loyalty through conquest. How am I supposed to kill that? He's a four seven. Card's too fearsome. Don't prepare for the next kill. Danger paid. Hmm. One man short. Deal me in. We have way too many one health units to be good against Twisted Fate, Make It Rain, and Dot Deck. This is a tough matchup. No, we cannot notify that. We can notify that. That's probably better. This has to hit the 3 1. Okay, good. It hit the 3 1. Zap Spray Fin drawing Notify has been very, very good for us. That's been a, a really strong part of our deck. So they're not even they're not even playing Swain. So they have Riptide Rex. Do I let these die and then just play Abyssal Eye? So we're gonna block. Yeah, maybe it's better to let them die and play Abyssal Eye. Kind of sea monster you got devourer of depths so we can certainly assume they have a riptide rex which is why they didn't play swain first before attacking it's a very fair assumption but the problem is is now we know they have a spell I'm still good to scrap. a spell that can turn on riptide rex maybe I don't change fate, but I can see it. yuck should have stayed home, pal. No, because, like, what does the challenge on Swain really do? Just put Swain down to two health and try to devour Swain, but. Their time has come. Such little lives. There's nothing a good giggle can't fix. Kind of would rather block. So I, I, I'm very surprised they used that death sand on my turn. I'm, I would have thought that they would have death sand here, you know, death sand then Riptide Rex. That's what I thought was going to happen. Which can still happen. Please no Death Sand Riptide Rex. Please no Death Sand Riptide Rex. I think that Death Sand is what they grabbed from the Spray Fin, I think. No, no spells. No, another Death Sand. Oh. Well, 
That's just the worst case scenario. You're like, I just can't do anything about Death's Hand and Rex. Just can't do anything about it. So maybe they don't have Rex. No. Come on. I we're playing like this cool, interesting new deck. Can we play against something else? Dad, we fought so hard that last game too. We came close. Good draw. Alright, so we'll be able to kill that. Hopefully they cannot kill Lulu. We can of course also just wait with Make It Rain. No Ravenous Flock, so that's good. Make it worth my while. <sighs> like a fish in water. <laughs> that could be some protection. I've whipped up something special. Three Mystic Shots for one card. It's just not okay. Uh, we can't, we just can't handle that, but that's... Keep up, keep up. It could be good with the Lulu. Wish we played against some different matchups. It's not how, it's not how the game goes. Never lost a fair game. Yeah, that card's great. If I retreat the Zap Sprayfin, then my Lulu dies to the gold card. All that glitters. Master, your demons. Demons are easy, Mister. Elifloops are hot. Vessel small, but she ain't lacking courage. So what happens if I retreat this? Do that does it still knock does it still kill their thing with the noxion fervor? Yeah, it still dies, right? Sacrifices must be made. Blooding guts, golden glory. Sage or perish. Time to make some coin. Fish out of water. If I block, I know this isn't a very good block for me, but if I block the hired gun, then we know double mega rain will definitely kill both of these. I guess the one thing is they can do anything that does a little bit of damage and level up their swain, so not definitely kill them. Taking two damage to be able to do a couple extra damage to them. I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one of these I want to turn into a four-four. Maybe better to go this route. Why are you here? So they were blocking the sea monster. Hmm. 
That's too bad. No. <laughs> I wanted to hit the hired gun, of course. So to keep my Lulu alive. So that was kind of my plan to be like attack with Lulu challenge. Make it rain. Do the one damage. Plan didn't work out. And it really didn't work out with them having the removal. There. Stop. We live here. So not gonna give them an easy Riptide Rex. I'll have nine mana next turn. So small, but she ain't lacking. <laughs> not Tear of the Tides. Why, why do we never get the seven mana one? We never get the one with the treasures. It's the one I want. The only end. I'm a people person. Than every opponent has had multiple Twisted Fates. And every Twisted Fate is such a killer. And every time they play multiple of them. So I'm going Young Witch, Devourer, and Krusty Codger. Yeah, I think I think with them sad poroing it means they have Rex. They all like yeah, they always have Rex and I can't I can stop Rex for like a turn. But eventually they'll cast Riptide Rex and then I lose. It's just too much when you add on all the the two for ones that all their twisted fates and make it rains. Eyes open. And everything gets and then just all, then a Riptide Rex at the top end. I just it's too much. Three twisted paints. Keep up, keep up. All right, can't attack with the young witch anymore. So I know this isn't good against a Ravenous Flock, but, you know, theoretically now we have two blockers for two attackers. If I if I don't attack, we have three blockers for four attackers, so we can't stop Riptide Rex with that. All or nothing. That deck's just really, really good. It's really good against Young Witch Lulu. That's that's a, a big deck that's holding back Young Young Witch Lulu. It's it's so hard to play these small support things against uh, that deck. It's just it's really really hard. We fought hard. I've tried my best, um, but you know, couldn't couldn't quite get there in any of those games. Um, so we were we were one and one against other decks. And 0-3 against that matchup. I wish we could have had more different matchups than that. But that's you don't you know you don't get to choose what you get to play against. Um, I think our deck could do some cool things. I I did really like the Nopify and Zap Sprayfin combination. I thought that was a really cool combination that did really well. Uh, I wish I had a third at Nopify for how many times we played against Make It Rain. Um, didn't get to do too much with Jewel Protector. I wish I kind of wish I had another Jewel Protector um, because that that is a lot of stats with the Jewel, Jewel Protector given the plus three plus three. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I think our list was pretty good. There's there's nothing in our list that I didn't like. I mean, I guess kind of Will of Ionia. Will of Ionia didn't perform that well. It was important bouncing a Swain at one turn. Um, but I don't know if there's anything better than that with these regions as far as removal goes. Maybe this kind of deck would have, like, yeah, because dealing with Swain's pretty tough. Um, 
the twin disciplines was honestly really good for us both the plus three and the like either either way like the the plus three to start with or the plus three afterwards you know both ways were, were really good um maybe more of that more stand united um more other kind of cards like that. I don't know, it's just going to be a really tough matchup. All right, but but uh, yeah, I'm glad I'm glad we tried something different, and wish we could have showed it off against other stuff. But you know, still went one and one against non Twisted Fate Swain. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.